Hello, and thanks for joining me for another review. It's been a long time. This is probably the first review I've done in about six weeks. Um, needed a little break from, from stuff, so uh, and we're actually coming back, not with a beer, but with a cider. Um, I've been drinking quite a lot of ciders this year um, with the intention of doing cider reviews throughout the whole summer. That's not really happened. Apart from June in the UK, we've not really had as much of a summer. Um, although I've still been drinking a fair amount of ciders and stuff, uh, but it's not been reviewing, you know, things at all. Um, so I'm going to go to one that I've kind of been drinking on and off most of the year. Um, it's one of the mainstreamy type ones. Um, so it's uh, from the cider family cider makers. This is Thatcher's Gold. So it's their their kind of regular one. They've got a few variants of this that I've also tried. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and uh, give this a little review. So this family of um, cider makers then have been around since 1904. Um, they are based out of Somerset, Somerset Cider Co. Limited. Um, so yes, it goes into bits and pieces here. Factor Goals is a, uh, a, a flavour. It's full of flavour, We're made especially with selected apples, and the apples are actually Dabonet, Potter's Perfection, and Harry Master's Jersey apples. So a blend of three different apples there to, to produce this beer. Not most people don't really care when they're drinking this sort of thing, to be honest with you. But it is what it is. Um, yes, I made using their traditional techniques, expertise gained since 1904. This crafted medium dry cider has a smooth and refreshing taste. Um... So gluten-free, uh, suitable for celiacs, uh, vegetarians and vegans. That list is just going to get longer as time goes on, I'm sure it is. Um, it is safest not to drink when pregnant. Shit. Oh, I'll be alright. Um, so yeah, let's crack this open. This is a 4.8% medium dry cider then. 500ml can. Got it in a four pack. Um... It's funny how the difference between beer and cider works. Cans of cider generally come in four packs or bigger packs. Um, unlike beer, they're generally singles. We we get the option generally, of course. Um, but obviously, in the states, everything is. You can get the individual ones, but or a mix six or whatever. But anyway, let's let's pull this out then. So it's it's like a yeah sparkling medium dry cider basically. Um, it's not one of them dark darker looking dry type ciders nice clean glass there we'll go for the less bubbled side even though you can see that oh, it's both sides whatever 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 but it is that you know a bit of carbonation now i've only just washed it as well it's probably it's probably why anyway very transparent very clean looking uh, cider general carbonation nothing crazy didn't really pour much of a head, but they don't. Um, let's get a nose on it. I don't. I say I'm not too on my uh, cider reviews. I've, I don't think I've ever done one before. It might be my first. I'm not sure. Anyway, nose. So yeah, slightly sweet. Obviously, that apple core kind of edge. How do you? You know, it's. It smells like an apple, you know. It's got that kind of apple juice kind of aroma to it. Apple cordial, maybe. But it's, it's more kind of refined, sharp. That pips apple core. Sweet. Not much else to say, really, at this point. Let's get a taste. So, cheers. In a brewing by numbers glass. Very easy drinking, of course. I say 4.8. There's a hell of a lot of ciders. I've noticed in the last few weeks that have been 4% pretty much. There is a alcohol unit taxation just come in in, in England. It's been in Scotland for quite a while, but it's, it's actually become 
I think most of the UK now, I'm not too sure, not sure about Wales or Northern Ireland, but certainly UK and Scotland, yeah, we, we're, we're getting a bit taxed more. I think beers that are above a certain ABV, a hell of a lot more. Um, so I don't know how the smaller breweries and stuff are going to fare, but anyway, I'm going off topic. So yeah, back to this then. I'm reviewing this in early August of 2023, for instance. So just so if you watch this years ahead, um, you'll be like, oh yeah, back in the day when beer was cheap, you know. Doesn't feel like it currently, but anyway. So, it's sweet. It's not overly sweet. Uh, medium sweetness. It's very different. I mean, what else do you say about it? You know, a hot summer's day. It's very refreshing, very clean. It's just very drinkable, for what it is. Um, they do a couple of other variants that I've seen recently. And I've had recently. They do the cloudy cider, lemon cider, cloudy lemon cider, and they do a, a blood orange cider. It's like, how are you doing a blood orange cider? Mm. Orange in a cider. I don't know. It's just there's lots of different flavored ciders these days. Um, I say I've had bar uh, barbecue barbecue cider. I've had bar uh, get my words out rhubarb cider barbecue cider that'd be good a rauch cider there's not much else to say about it to be honest with you it's one of the uh better ones i've had recently so i thought i'd start off with that whether i go into i've had to say i've, had, I've tried quite a few whether i go and try them and do reviews that i don't they're not there's one or two that aren't very good you know what I mean? I, I don't really want to go and get another four pack. Like, for instance, I bought a four pack of fruited cider yesterday. It's not good, you know. But then it's like three pounds for a four pack. So it's kind of one of those. Sometimes you can pick up things like that and they're really good. But you've always got that question mark in the back of your head when you're buying them, even though they're red of. Pardon me, bit of bulk. Relatively cheap. You, you, you are really opening yourself up to a. A cider or beer that is potentially not going to be very good. Um, but I've always gotten well with this one. I used to drink it years ago, and I, I still find it even now, um, a long, long while down the line. Um, it's reasonable, you know. Um, I've had better, but I've certainly had a hell of a lot worse. So, um, so that's it, really. Not much else to say. Just a, a little kind of interesting review, really. So, Thatcher's Gold. Cider, Somerset Cider, 4.8%. Uh, let me know if I've had this one before. It's one I don't mind. I've been drinking a fair bit of. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching then. Look out for more cider reviews soon. See you later.